Hello folks, this is David Hurley of davidhurley.net and in today's video I want to show you how you can add a header image rather like this one here to the top of your WordPress blog. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I received an email from an online friend of mine, Vince, who is setting up a blog of his own. He's just published it here, but there's no content. He wants to put a header image here. And he writes, what I'm trying to do is to create a home page that has a cover photo, much like what you did with your page. At the moment, I selected Breeze as my theme, although I'm also toying with 2019. And in that sentence, we have the crux of the problem, the key to the issue, and the Procrustean bed upon which you are trying to squeeze and stretch and cut your blog. What you've done is you've chosen your theme first, and now you're trying to make it do what you want. You have to go the other way around. You have to decide what you want to do and set those parameters as search filters to find the theme that will do the job for you. And that is what I will show you how to do in this video. So I quickly set up a, a blog. Uh, using a theme that's a bit similar to yours. I couldn't find the exact theme breeze, but um, it's a theme with a, a right men a right sidebar and uh, well, it looks a bit similar. So what happens when we try to um, set up a, a header image on this theme? Well, how do you do that anyway? Well, you go to appearance, you can go, you click this customize button here, or let's go through the menu appearance, customize. And we come to the customize menu, which is here for this particular theme. And we see we have various options for customization of the theme site identity, colors, background image, menus, widgets, homepage settings and CSS if you know how to do that. But there's no, no option for us to upload a header image. That's because we've gone the wrong way around. We've installed a theme that we like the look of and we've discovered it doesn't do what we want it to do. So we're going to have to scrap this theme, get rid of this theme. We're going to have to add a new theme. So it says here, add new, we're on the, back on the appearance page. This is the little button we want to click. Add new brings us to the themes page. Now we're not just going to search randomly for a theme that we like the look of. We're going to use the feature filter to filter our features. Uh, what do we want to set up? We want a blog and the feature we want is a custom header. So let's check that box. And we'd like to keep that right sidebar. Now we've got uh, the features that we want. We will do a search and find a theme that will enable us to create that uh, header image. Any one of these themes should do the job. So just find one that so now now that we got the features in now we can find one that we like the look of uh, so let's not spend too much time searching uh, <laughs> here we go this one here will do install the new theme activate okay so let's just check our blog There's the new theme, and I guess our header image will come in here. So let's go back to setting up the header image. Um, appearance, customize, or as I said before, this customize button here will also get us there. So we're back on the um, WordPress uh, theme customization page. And you see already we've got some different options. So each theme has its own range of customizable options. Um, 
theme options, site identity, front page options, colors, header image. There we go. So let's click that. There's that standard header image. We need to add a new image. So let's upload from our computer hard drive the image that we want. Here it is. Select and crop. And here is the image now in the header. Uh, clearly, we didn't do very well with our cropping, but that's OK. Uh, you can just go back and keep, keep uh, cropping until you get the image that you want. So let's have a look over here. It's not not shown up yet. And that is because we have to take one more step, which is to publish again. So now let's have a look. OK, there is our new image in our blog. And that, in short, is how you upload an image, a header image to your WordPress blog. You have to select the parameters you want first and use the filters to find a theme that will do the job for you. Okay, I hope that helps, Vince.